The Five Scariest Secrets of the Bermuda Triangle <laughs> The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a notorious area that lies in the North Atlantic Ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and the island of Bermuda. If you draw a line connecting these three points, you get a huge triangle. In fact, it's estimated to be a whopping 500,000 square miles in size. There are few people who haven't heard of this mysterious place and all the horrible secrets hidden in its depths. It both terrifies and simultaneously mesmerizes people all over the world with its spooky statistics. 300 ships that vanished without a trace, 75 aircraft that simply vanished out of thin air, and over 1,000 victims who never made it home to their families. With each passing year, we see different theories attempting to explain the phenomenon of the Devil's Triangle. But we still don't know for sure what exactly this place is. Some say it's cursed. Others say it's something paranormal. And there are those who believe it's got something to do with aliens. Whatever it is, not even scientists fully understand the cause of all the tragedies that unfold in the Bermuda Triangle. Here are five of the area's most mysterious disappearances, some of them centuries old, some eerily recent. Watch and draw your own conclusions. The Mary Celeste Believe it or not, the Bermuda Triangle already started gaining fame in the times of Christopher Columbus. During his voyage to the New World, the explorer noticed pillars of fire falling from the sky and crashing into the ocean near this arcane area. At that time, there wasn't any developed system of communication, so people didn't find out about the Triangle until the 20th century. But even before that, the mysterious place was claiming victims on a regular basis. One of the most well-known disappearances was that of an American merchant ship called the Mary Celeste. The vehicle set sail on November 7, 1872 with the ship's captain, Benjamin Briggs, along with his wife, their two-year-old daughter, and a crew of seven on board. They were heading from New York to Genoa, Italy, with a precious cargo of 1,700 barrels of raw alcohol. Less than a month after their journey began, and just days after the ship's last recorded entry of November 25th, a British vessel called the De Grazia happened to come upon the Mary Celeste floating under a partial sail. Everything looked normal and intact, except for one thing. There wasn't a soul on board the ship, and the lifeboat was missing. The only thing that seemed out of the ordinary was a single sword lying on the deck. Before you put it down to a pirate attack, you're about to find out why it couldn't have been. All of the crew's belongings, a six-month supply of food, as well as the transported alcohol were untouched. Any other theories, such as an undersea earthquake, a giant squid attack, or a natural disaster can be ruled out too, since the vessel wasn't damaged whatsoever. It was a clear day, the ship was in perfect working order, so why would people leave it and never come back? Whatever the reason, neither the crew nor the lifeboat was ever found. While this mystery doesn't have a direct proven connection to the Bermuda Triangle, some researchers believe that these innocent lives were claimed by the cursed place. The Ellen Austin's Curious Finding In 1881, the 210-foot-long American schooner Ellen Austin was sailing from New York to London when the crew spotted an unidentified ship drifting in the Sargasso Sea, which is on the northern edge of the Bermuda Triangle. Something seemed off about the ship, as if there wasn't anyone on board. So Captain Baker of the Ellen Austin decided to observe the derelict ship for a couple of days to make sure that it wasn't a trap. Once that time passed, 
he ordered his crew to board the abandoned vessel. They saw that everything was intact, the shipment was well packed, but there was, indeed, nobody on board. So Captain Baker decided to put his best men on the mysterious ship and tow it back to New York with him. At first, the two ships sailed side by side on beautiful calm waters. But when a strong storm came out of nowhere two days later and separated them, the Ellen Austin lost track of the abandoned ship. Once the storm calmed down a bit after a few days, Captain Baker found the derelict ship yet again drifting aimlessly at sea. Upon catching up to the vessel and checking it out, the captain was shocked by what he found. The ship was in the same perfect condition as before, but without a single soul on board. This part of the story has been confirmed, but there's more to it. Some people believe that Captain Baker made one more attempt to bring the ship back to land, but after try number two ended in the same exact way, the Ellen Austin just left the seemingly cursed vessel alone. According to another version, the derelict ship was spotted once again, but this time with a crew different from the one left by Captain Baker. Nobody but the Devil's Triangle itself really knows the truth. The USS Cyclops In the entire history of the US Navy, there hasn't been a larger single accident loss of life than the tragedy that happened to a huge fuel ship called the USS Cyclops in March 1918. The ship was supposed to deliver 10,800 tons of manganese ore from Brazil to Baltimore, which means it had to go right through the heart of the beast. The ship set off on a nice day, and the only message ever received from the crew stated that they weren't having any troubles whatsoever. And then, the ship, with its 309 people on board, simply vanished. The captain of the Cyclops never sent a distress signal or anything like that. Just poof, gone. Even after the area had been thoroughly searched, no traces of the vehicle were found. The investigation never did discover the cause of the disappearance. The Grumman Cougar Jet One of the more recent Bermuda mysteries is the disappearance of a Grumman Cougar Jet. It was 1991, at around Halloween time. Piloted by John Verde and his co-pilot Paul Lucaris, the jet was flying over the Gulf of Mexico, heading for Tallahassee. The weather wasn't ideal, a bit overcast with scattered storms. So, in order to get up above the turbulent clouds, Verde asked the flight center for permission to increase the altitude. It was granted, so the pilot started to do just that. As the jet was ascending into some sunlight and out of the cloud cover, it vanished from the radar. The controllers couldn't believe their eyes. In the spot where they had just seen a plane literally moments ago, there was now only an empty space. They tried to call the pilots, but there was no answer. And yet, again, there were no distress signals or maydays or anything before the disappearance. The plane wasn't falling into the ocean. In fact, it was quite the opposite. It was gaining altitude. It seemed to just fade away as it was ascending to the necessary height. No trace of it has ever been found. The MU-2B And now for the most recent. On May 15, 2017, a twin-engine plane took off to deliver Skylight Group founder and CEO Jennifer Blumen, along with her two little sons, just three and four years old, to Titusville, Florida. Piloted by Nathan Ulrich, the plane left Puerto Rico at 11.30 a.m. The weather was good, the flight was going smooth as butter, and nothing could have predicted the tragedy. But when the plane reached an altitude of 24,000 feet, it just vanished from the radar. Miami traffic controllers also lost radio contact with the aircraft. The next day, 
15 miles to the east of Eleuthera Island in the Bahamas. The U.S. Coast Guard spotted some debris, which they believed were the remains of the missing plane. However, neither the passengers nor the pilot has ever been found. There have been so many more disappearances over the years. In 1941, the USS Proteus and USS Nereus went missing on the same route their sister ship, the USS Cyclops, had taken several decades before. In 1945, Flight 19 disappeared over the area of the Bermuda Triangle, and one of the rescue aircrafts sent to search for that missing plane also never came back. There are countless more stories like these, none of which have a concrete explanation. What we've covered today are just some examples of all the souls taken by the Devil's Triangle. What version of their disappearance do you believe? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life.